Good morning and welcome to you all to this service of morning prayer on Saturday the 23rd of May. We continue this journey from in this time and season from the day after, after ascension to the day of Pentecost following the Thy Kingdom Come daily app and daily prayers that are being released and some services from the diocese as well. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. A song of God's righteousness. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 21 The King puts his trust in the Lord. The King shall rejoice in your strength, O Lord. How greatly shall he rejoice in your salvation! You have given him his heart's desire and have not denied the request of his lips. For you come to meet him with blessings of goodness and set a crown of pure gold upon his head. He asked of you life and you gave it him. Length of days for ever and ever. His honour is great because of your salvation. Glory and majesty have you laid upon him. You have granted him everlasting felicity and will make him glad with joy in your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord. Because of the loving kindness of the Most High, he shall not be overthrown. Your hand shall mark down all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them like a fiery oven in the time of your wrath. The Lord will swallow them up in his anger and the fire will consume them. Their fruit you will root out of the land and their seed from among its inhabitants because they intend evil against you and devise wicked schemes which they cannot perform. You will put them to flight when you aim your bow at their faces, 
Be exalted, O Lord, in your own might. We will make music and sing of your power. The king puts his trust in the Lord. Crown us, O God, but with humility, and robe us with compassion, that as you call us into the kingdom of your Son, we may strive to overcome all evil by the power of good, and so walk gently on the earth with you, our God, for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first reading is a continuation of our readings from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 to 9. From Mount Hor they set out by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food in the water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it on a pole, and whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. Here ends our first reading. A Song of Ezekiel the Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleannesses. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Our second reading is a continuation of our readings from St Luke's Gospel, chapter 7. Verses 18 to 35. The disciples of John reported all these things to him. So John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? When the man had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues and evil spirits and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news brought to them and blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. When John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind. What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes. Look, those who put on fine clothing and live in luxury are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. See. I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of woman, no one is greater than John, yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God, because they had been baptised with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptised by him, 
The Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purpose for themselves. To what then will I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We wailed and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Here ends our second reading. The Benedictus Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, for you to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, so it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. So let us pray. <clears throat> so as we travel through this season from Ascension to Pentecost, we look forward to the great celebration when your Spirit, Lord, is sent down upon the disciples and is therefore sent upon us. We thank you for this great gift that we can receive daily in our lives, the Spirit of comfort and truth, the Spirit who guides us and gives us wisdom, the Spirit who dwells within our hearts and minds every day. We thank you, Lord, that we can trust in you for the promises that you make and keep to each one of us. We thank you for the many gifts that you give to us, for the gifts and talents that we can use in your service, for the gift of family and friends, of homes and shelter, of food. We thank you, Lord, for those who use their skill in the service of others, especially in these difficult and darkened days where they try to bring light to those in need and help to those who are suffering. We pray for our local food banks and food larders and for the distribution of that food. We give thanks for those places that are trying to provide treats for people, for those who are providing for basic needs for those who are reaching out on the phone or via email or social media, for the ways that we found to connect with each other in a much deeper way, that even though we are separated at this time, we can come together still in our prayers and for conversation. We thank you, Lord, for this day and for bringing us safely to the beginning of it, for all it may bring us, the work we may do, the rest we may enjoy, and the conversations we may hold with others. We pray for those who are going out to work today, for key workers, for those working from home, 
We continue to pray for those who are furloughed and for those who have lost their employment or whose employment is under threat at this time. From our prayer intention, we pray for all those who feel their lives are on hold, that they may retain a sense of hope. There are many reasons why people may feel that they are unable to move forward. Through anxiety and fear, through not being able to work, through being unwell or caring for a loved one. Whatever reason that may be, we pray, Lord, that they would know your presence with them, that they would have that sense of hope and that we would be able to see a way forward. We continue to pray for our government and the leaders of nations, for those who make decisions on our behalf, that they may be guided by your spirit of wisdom. We pray for those who work across the NHS and in many different situations today. We pray for those on the front line in the battle against the coronavirus, for those in hospital, for hospice, care homes and in the community. We pray for those scientists who are working on a vaccine, working on different tests, working on making it, making a way forward so that we may be kept safe. And so we bring before you, Lord, all those who are in need of your healing touch today. For the many that we know and carry in our hearts and minds. And also for Bridget, Ian, Paul, John, Charlie, Morris, Wendy, Lisa and Margaret. We pray for them and for those we have named in our own hearts and minds. The Lord, you would give them strength in their different needs. Bring them your healing touch and give strength to those who care for them this day. We pray also for those who have died, for those who have died recently this past night, for those who have watched and waited with them, and for their family and friends who mourn. Lord, we thank you that you kept your promise of sending your Son, because you loved us so much, into our world, to die and to rise again, and to open the gate of glory, so we may all have that gift of eternal life. We pray, Lord, that by your spirit of truth, we may go gain comfort to know that our loved ones now dwell with you in glory. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us, and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ has gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. <clears throat> Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me uh, for this service of morning prayer, either live or a little bit later on, as you've had opportunity to watch this service. I hope that you have a good day, that you don't get blown about too much in the uh, gale that seems to be blowing outside again today. Um, do stay safe and keep well in whatever you'll be doing today. Tomorrow is, of course, Sunday, and it is the seventh Sunday after Easter and first after Ascension. And we will be having our usual morning and evening prayer, but also our 10 o'clock service of the Word, which it would be great if you were able to join us for that service too. It's just a service for about half an hour. We sing a couple of hymns and we listen to God's Word and pray together. 
the order of service is either emailed out or you can find it on our website or our church in EU page. And as I say, it'd be lovely to have your company tomorrow. This evening we have evening prayer as usual at five o'clock. So do take care and stay safe in the meantime.